James Cracknell and Rebecca Romero are attempting to break the world record for a non-stop mixed tandem bicycle ride from Land's End to John O'Groats. Don't try and say that when you've had a drink. Hi, guys. Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. How are you? Yeah, feeling really good. James, what's made you want to do this? Well, I think you're mentioning a uh, bike race called the, the Race Across America. Um, and then I well, had an unsuckled the length of Britain yet, so I... Uh, I then looked to see if there was if there was an organised organised race, which there wasn't. Um, and then I'm a, a director of a company, and then we thought, well, no, part of us said, well, let's you know, let's build a race, which we we have for next year, called the Ride Across Britain. And then I was also looking at the the RRA side, which is the the Roads Records Association, and then saw the records for individual and tandem. And um, I've done a long sort of individual bike ride before, and thought it'd be much more fun to do something on the tandem. And uh, and then obviously thought of Rebecca, met her from rowing days, and and obviously cycling in Beijing, and uh, and after she'd be up for a, a thrash out of the country. Rebecca, who goes in front of who? Because you don't want to look at his backside for about three days, do you? <laughs> no, no. We've actually uh, very fortunately got two tandems set up, so one with James on the front and one with myself on the front. So um, yeah, we'll be switching between the two, which will be good because you know being on the front is quite tough. Um, navigating, steering, and uh, um, just generally being in charge of it, and then having a bit of a kind of a so-called rest on the back, <laughs> where you just uh, tuck in tight and and, uh, and keep the legs moving, pedalling there. James, it seems a bit of a daunting task. Eight hundred and seventy-four miles. How do you prepare for something like that? Um, well, obviously cycling to a certain extent does it, but you can't really practice non-stop cycling 24 hours a day so you, you sort of do slightly shorter more intense cycling you know hard a couple of hours just to get used to the legs working all the time 